Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, I want to share with you a $500,000 per month drop shipping store. I make a lot of videos highlighting a lot of interesting businesses out there that raise millions of dollars, $20 million, make $100 million, and I do this to prime my brain to think bigger. But also, I find that these stores are largely successful, so why not replicate some of their success and learn from it? However, some of you asked me if I could start reviewing sort of smaller stores that are more realistic for a dropshipper, I guess, someone who's just starting their business. They don't have a ton of inventory uh, or cash flow, rather, to invest in inventory. And in today's video, we're going to highlight a store that is very achievable, I think, uh, for a lot of people. So... What I'm talking about is this store called Lit Looks Studio. And what it is, is an online aesthetic clothing store for Gen Z. So right away, we can learn the first golden nugget here from this store. It's a very niche and defined business. And they just know exactly who they're targeting, who they're going after. They're going after Gen Z. Now, Gen Z is basically a younger demographic. However, they do have money to invest. And basically what these guys are doing is just going all in on that specific demographic. Now, you may think that that's not huge, right? But it actually is, right? Especially fashion. Fashion is so mass market because everybody wears clothes. Um, and as you see, their traffic is only rising and getting very consistent. Now, they have all sorts of products but I'm guessing their best sellers are, I don't even know, honestly, we'll probably just have to browse a little bit here, but they know exactly what uh, Gen Z is looking for, right? Y2K aesthetic, Coquette aesthetic, like they're really creating different lookbooks and they've branded this beautifully, I will say, like this is so well done. This is well beyond what most dropshippers would do in order to actually build a successful business. Um, but of course, the extra effort almost always is worth it, um, depending on what you're spending that effort on, I guess. But what I've found so far, too, is that actually their biggest source of traffic is Pinterest. So at least for social traffic, they're actually probably doing a decent bit of SEO, and that's how they're driving organic traffic. But they're also driving a lot of traffic through Pinterest, which is really interesting. So... Let's actually just click here and we'll click on new arrivals. We'll sort by best selling just to see which one specifically is their best seller. Okay, so it's these embroidered jeans, funny enough. Uh, I didn't expect that, but it makes sense. Now, right away we can learn a few things from them. They have some trust badges here that are, I guess, working well. I don't really like these personally, but I guess they work very well for them. And then they have some scarcity, hurry, low inventory. I doubt there's low inventory here. Um, my guess is that they're drop shipping. As you see, their um, shipping and delivery is three to eight business days, which is not that fast. So, you know, they're probably doing some sort of mix of third party logistics center and shipping from China with an agent, which can be very fast, actually. So, you know, don't think that. It can't be. So they also talk about ethical fashion, which is pretty interesting. I'm not sure if that's entirely true, but ultimately this is something that Gen Z likes. Gen Z wants to be a responsible shopper, probably, um, and they know that, so they're taking advantage of that. And then they have this really, really good countdown timer here, which is like a big spring sale, final hours. I really like this. I think this looks super good. Um, it doesn't, this is actually similar to what Fashion Nova does, some of the biggest fashion brands out there that sell lower ticket products, um, which they're not really low ticket, but I don't know. They actually have a really interesting store because they're, I don't know how they determine their pricing, but it looks very clean, like $59, $27, $44, little things like that can really help you stand out in a crowded market, which fashion is. This is literally straight out of uh, fashion nova i believe this is like a fashion nova model which is kind of funny so yeah these guys are probably adding products to their store all the time and doing a lot of seo to make it work so let's see i guess how they do that well they do it through their description right uh, it has a pretty simple description not sure of size please check our size chart okay that makes sense and then just some recommended products 
that are also interesting. I mean, this is so well branded, guys. It's very simple, but it's so well done. And the images are awesome. They're all very congruent. And even though they're different, they still look congruent. And I think it's because of the sizing and just the overall aesthetic that they've created. So a lot to learn from this site. Uh, with fashion, it makes a lot of sense to use Pinterest a lot. And with a very niche down niche like this, uh, Gen Z, which again is actually not that niche down, but it definitely segments fashion um, into a smaller category, which allows you to do better SEO, search engine optimization, which will drive organic traffic to your store. So Pinterest and Google, definitely a super powerful combination. And then obviously Meta would be really great too. Even just a dynamic catalog ad would do well with this. Um, and even TikTok. Though I think Meta, Google, and Pinterest is probably a better trifecta for them to focus on and TikTok for organic. Maybe still a little bit of ad spend. I, I'm a big believer in TikTok ads. So I always recommend brands invest a little bit into it and just test it out at the very least. But yeah, I mean, that's about it for this video. I thought this was interesting. Um, ultimately the way I know they're drop shipping is because they have this drop shipper tag on store leads and I filtered these stores this time by stores that have the DSers app, which is an AliExpress drop shipping app. So that store does have it, which means that they probably do drop ship some things from AliExpress. And, and that's smart when it comes to testing products, especially for fashion where you always got to be cycling new products. Um, so I don't blame them. I actually think it's pretty smart to do that. And in a way, it's ethically done, right? Because you're kind of removing the middleman um, in some ways. But, you know, you, you got to do some mental gymnastics in order to arrive at that conclusion. Ultimately, I think this is a great store. And I hope that you enjoyed it and got inspired from it, especially if you are a Gen Z and you love fashion, you know, try to use this same concept potentially for another niche. Maybe not fashion, but maybe jewelry, Gen Z jewelry, let's say, right? I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of options out there. Use your creativity. Use ChatGPT for a little bit of assistance. And that's it. Peace.